Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, so today's video is actually extremely random, not something I had planned at all. So um, I'm just going to basically tell you what happened. I just got out of work, so I'm just in a t-shirt. Anyway, I look like hell. This wasn't planned, but I wanted to get this out of the way before I go and use any of the stuff I just purchased. Um, basically, I was at work at the cleaners tonight, and two of these salesmen walk in with like little bags and boxes, and I'm going, what are they, selling candy? Like, come on. So anyway, they come over to me and they're like, uh, you like makeup, don't you? And I'm like, could you tell? Like, what the heck? And they go, well, we're selling cosmetics and hair stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, they totally got my attention right now. So I started freaking out in excitement. They're showing me all this stuff that they have and these flat irons and curling irons and makeup stuff. And I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my God, I haven't been to a store to buy any cosmetics and it feels like two months. It feels like it's been forever. Like, I haven't been to Ulta and I don't know how long, so I'm like, uh, I haven't bought anything for myself in a while, so may have splurged just a little bit. But anyway, they talked me into buying a flat iron to get a bag of cosmetics for free. So, I only spent $44 after tax, which isn't that bad. I've never heard of this brand before, so that's why I wanted to do like a quick review. I'm going to open everything in front of you, show you everything. I'm going to even test out the flat iron that I purchased because I don't want anybody to go and buy it unless it actually works and it's, you know, worth the money or whatever. He told me it's a $200 value and I was like, really, you're going to sell it to me for 40 bucks if it's normally 200 But I bought it anyway because I wanted the makeup. I know. But anyway, here is the little bag that the makeup comes in. It's called um, Makeover Essentials. I've never heard of this brand. I really like the little butterfly, though. I thought it was cute. Um, and I, the pink bag. Oh, come on. Anyway, it came with one, two, three, four things inside. And I'm just going to pull out the first big thing. And this is the Essentials Face Color Kit. This is what the front looks like. And then this is the back. Sorry, my lighting is like totally not working right. But anyway, it's nine eye colors, two lip colors, two blushes, three applicators, and a black mirrored case. Let me open this quick. Well, let me tell you, it comes in like some really nice packaging so far. Isn't this adorable? Alright, so this is what it looks like when I first open it. It's got the plastic over everything. The mirror. Do you see how I have my camcorder set up because I don't have a tripod? That's pretty insane. Anyway, so this is uh, what the inside looks like. Let me take the plastic off really quick. Mm, come off. Oops, I'm dumping my applicators everywhere. Whatever, you want it goes. So these are the colors. Like, these are the eyeshadows. I believe these are the lip glosses. <laughs> these are the blushes. So, it's very cute. I like the um, packaging it's in. It's not, like, super light, but it's not super heavy. Hmm. I'm going to swatch some of the colors just to see how they are. So, I'm going to do these, for these first three here. My phone's going to keep going off. Wow! Anyway, oh my god, I really like that. Okay, why I put it on the freaking upper of my arm? Don't ask. So, here's like that goldy color. There's like a green and then there's like a bronzy brown. So, those first three colors. Oh my god, this is so asinine. I, I apologize. I'm tired. I'm working way too much. All right, let me wipe that off. And the next three colors. Oh, my God. I have to tell you guys, these are, like, super pink. I'm going to use that one tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So here's the next three colors. It's the, um, what is that one? That one didn't even come out that right. Well, oh, sorry, guys. So there's the, like, a gray-brown a coppery color and then like the really turquoise blue color look at the pigmentation though like I can't believe it actually I thought it was gonna be like crap oh my god I really want to try it on right now but we're not playing with makeup all night Brittany oh. 
Oh my god, I might do something with those two colors tomorrow. Yep. Anyway, and then here is like this cream beige kind of color. This is like a purpley plum color and then like a, a really light... Look at my veins, how disgusting. You can't even see the color because of my nasty veins. But anyway, this is like a green color. So, I'm super impressed with the eyeshadows. I'm not complaining about those at all. I'm going to do the blushes on the back of my hand. Oh, wow. So, those are the two blushes. I'm not going to mess with the lip glosses because I'm not in the mood to play with lip glosses right now. But anyway, so there is that palette right there. I'm super impressed with it so far. Let me move on to the next thing. These are the Lunar Lip Color Kit. And how many colors? It's six lip colors and one applicator. So let me open this. I really, wow. I really like the packaging. Oh my God, those are pretty neutral enough for me to wear too. So it's got the plastic on top. I'm just gonna take that off. Come on. So here's the colors. And I love the fact that it comes with a lip brush because I think everybody should have a lip brush, especially with lip glosses, like cream lip glosses, instead of just using your finger because that gets messy. I'm not going to swatch these just because, like I said, I don't feel like playing with all this stuff right now. I just really want to see the eyeshadows. So there's that. Oh, the next thing, the guy really talked me into this, which I probably won't even use it, but we'll see. Um... This is called the Shimmer Powder Brush. It's basically a bronzer in a brush. Pretty. It's refillable too. The guy told me that I can refill this. So like once I'm done using the product that's in here, I can dump my own inside to use. So this is what it looks like. Here's the bronzing shimmery powder in the bottom. The bottom unscrews so that you can refill it. And then there's the brush. Basically, you just kind of go like this, swirl it around for a second, and when you see the product coming out, that's when you apply it. Like I said, it can be kind of messy. I don't really know how this one is. Oh, look, and it also, so you can put it back in the cap nice. You just, easy enough. Um, too much product, I, I notice, can dump out, and then you've got like a cakey mess everywhere. I had a body one years ago, and it was just a mess. Like, I was constantly trying to get it off because it was, like, way too much product, but... So, the last thing in this bag is, um, these makeup remover wipes. And the guys were like, those things are so awesome. And I'm going, I was wondering if they were, like, a little off or what. Like, because they were way too into cosmetics and they seemed like normal people. But the guys were like, I totally use these. They work really nice. I'm like, yeah, everyone knows what a makeup remover wipe is. But he claims... That these are 10 times better than any other makeup wipe you will ever use. So, I'll try one out tonight in the shower and see. It just opens up. You peel the... Mm. I can never seem to open anything. Oh my god! Wow! Those smell so good! I'm trying to think of what it smells like, people. I don't know, but it smells really good. Oh, wow. Those smell so freaking good. I might even have to look these people up. If I like these, I might get more of these only because they smell really good. There's 20 pre-moistened cloths. It's not that much. I don't like spending money on not a lot of products. Like, like if I was to go in Walmart and they had these for like $4.99, only 20 and then they had my Equate ones, which has like 80 in it. For four ninety nine, which one would you get? Equate. I don't really care, but these smell really, really good. So that's it for everything that was in the bag, and then I got the flat iron. Okay, the flat iron. Holy shit! <laughs> because I beat the hell out of my flat iron constantly because I'm always curling my hair with it. As you notice, I didn't bother curling my hair because I was just going to work today. I was not feeling it. Comes with, like, you know, the instructional guide and everything. They did make sure to tell me that it comes with a limited lifetime warranty, which, that kills me. Limited lifetime? 
that don't make any sense, but whatever. Limited warranty, lifetime guarantee, um, ultra smooth ceramic, negative ion therapy, which I guess is supposed to con uh, condition and eliminate frizz in your hair. I don't really have that problem, but... And here's all the other little goodies that it says on the back. And it's a 1.25 inch professional styling iron. So, I am going to actually plug it in too and just test it out to see how it is. The guys told me that it goes up to like 450 degrees, which I've never heard of that, a 450 degree flat iron. The one I have now that I paid $70 for, it's a hot tool, it only goes up to like 430. And I really don't need it that high, but this is what it looks like. It has the 360 degree um, cord, which is nice so you don't have to keep trying to like flip it around and everything. But this is, I mean, it looks pretty nice so far. The only thing I was kind of like, what the F about was like the inside. Like, uh, can you guys see this? Like there's the dial and there's like the on and off switch. I mean, the plates seem really nice though. I'm sorry, look at this. I got like pen all over me from work and stuff, but I'm a mess. This was so last minute. I wasn't really planning this, but I wanted to use some of the stuff. So I was like, well, why don't I do a review on it in case anyone else comes across these salesmen so I can tell you if they're scams or not. So I'm going to plug this in. It supposedly only takes 10 seconds to heat up, so we will find out. There's no, the only thing I don't like is there's no like light on it to tell you when it's ready, but if it's only going to take 10 seconds, that's fine. But I'm used to having like a light and everything. Okay, let me plug this baby in. I'm going to let that heat up for a second. Oh, there is a light! There is a light! God, what an idiot. So there is a light. I didn't even notice that before. So I take it. Let's see if it's going to turn green in 10 seconds. Do I have the dial turned up? Okay, I can tell it's heating up because I can smell like- Oh, hey! It's heated up! Oh my god, what a time I spent. You can smell like plastic. Like hot plastic. Maybe it's because it's new and it hasn't ever been used before. I can't believe I'm sitting here sniffing a fucking flat iron. It's been a long day. Anyway, it doesn't seem like it's a bad, bad one, but hold on. I'm just going to grab my hair clip here. Oh, okay. This is how I normally do my hair when I'm doing like my flat iron curls so I'm not gonna do my whole head I just want to see how it works but I just kind of like take and put this up here clippy clippy and then take the bag I do my hair in sections so oh I gotta move back a little bit luckily I have a brush handy okay and then I just take like sections like this not huge or anything Wait, why did it turn red again? Ow! Ow, it's hot! Ow! It's green now. Does that make any sense? Whatever. I just take it. Oh. Get out of the way. See my little curl? Um, put the flat iron down. See the little curl? Oh my god, I made a nice curl. 
and my hair doesn't smell burnt I won't lie when I use a lot of like my curling stuff my hair will smell burned afterwards and I'm always like spraying stuff isn't it cute I like it the other really good thing because I had a lot of like my customers like they love how I curl my hair and they think I use a regular curling iron I tell them no I use a flat iron so they all went out and bought flat irons but they didn't buy ones that are like kind of rounded like you have to get ones that have like rounded edges on them otherwise you're gonna get like square really horrible curls so when they came in and they were like oh it didn't work for me I was like well what kind of a flat iron did you buy I kinda don't really disclose the whole you gotta buy it with the round edges so I'm gonna try a couple more and see how it works and then I'll, on the other side I'll try to like like straighten even though my hair is naturally straight I'll just see if it does anything for me I don't even know how hot this is because it doesn't really say the degree I just have it on the uh, wow they're so cute and they're so like fluffy aren't they cute don't ask and usually what I do, because I don't leave them like that, I always... Oops, that's a straight piece. Get back up there. I usually just brush through them with, like, a fat comb or something so that they get all, like, really, you know, like, bouncy and whatever. So, alright, I don't want to curl anymore. I'm tired. I want to take a shower and go to bed. Um, so here's... I mean, not like you can really tell much of a difference. Well, well here you go. You can kind of see the difference because here's my hair I didn't do. And it's got like that bend to it because it's just whatever. I didn't care this morning. So let me try and flat iron one of those pieces. blonde in there oh I mean I guess it does a decent job for straightening I don't really straighten my hair I always use these for curling my hair um, I hate straight hair and I have naturally straight hair naturally blonde hair I freaking hate it like I love curly hair anyway what is the degree I have this on I don't know if you guys can see the little knobby thing but Probably not. I have it like around right here so it's not like anywhere near the max and it's not like in the middle it's a little bit over but like I can put my hand out here and it doesn't burn which is nice but it's I can tell it's super hot on the inside like I'm an idiot let's play with the hot stuff so I like it I think it's pretty decent for 40 bucks if they had tried to sell it to me for any more than that I would have said hell no especially if they weren't going to give me the free makeup but they talked me into it so I'm going to turn this off because I'm not going to play with it anymore tonight okay me and my couple little curls see my hair like if I even keep it up in a clip for a couple seconds it naturally just like crimps it's annoying but anyway this wasn't a planned video, like I said. I mean, I have a stupid beer t-shirt on. I don't even drink beer, but I have a beer t-shirt on. Um, I'm just comfy before I get into the shower to go to bed. So, I have a another long day, long week, whatever. So, I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys happen to come across um, makeup... Excuse me. Makeup essentials. <laughs> I can't believe I just threw that anyway. Like I said, long day. The Makeup Essentials brand, I mean, I think it's only being sold either on their website or by these um, salesmen, I guess. So, um, yeah. I'm impressed so far with just the swatches of the eyeshadows. I mean, the lip products, I, as you guys already know, I don't really use much lip stuff. But I might keep this in my purse because it's little enough just for, like, traveling in case I just want a quick, oh my god, I need some color, I'm going in wherever. 
you know, I might keep that in my bag for now. The flat iron, I'll keep it because, you know, I like my, my little curls. I love curls. So, I hope you guys don't think I'm complete and total whack job. This wasn't planned. I'm tired. So, anyway, I did tell you guys in my last video I'm hoping to have my um, makeup area up by the end of the week. I didn't realize my boss put me on the schedule for over 40 hours this week because we haven't hired people, so I'm taking the, like the, ugh, it's just a mess. So I'm hoping that maybe Friday afternoon I can have a couple of hours to get something together for you guys. I have a lot that I have to film. I'm hoping to have it up maybe by the end of the weekend. Um, hopefully that will work, otherwise it might not be until early next week, so... I am attempting to get it up, I just haven't had the time because I'm always working. So, anyway, stop talking, Brittany. I am going to go to bed, or gonna go take a shower so I can go to bed. And I hope you guys enjoyed this really random quick video. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments or you want to know anything else about one of these products that I purchased or got for free, just let me know. I'll leave a comment below. Um, yeah, please subscribe if you enjoy these crazy random videos. Um, like this video. Don't like this video. I don't know why I was going to say that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.